Hey guys, what's up? Friend Lucian here. Uh, it's past about two weeks when we start our experiment with a copper two or a copper two solution or a AP solution and a silver plated pin. So first, I want to say this is very very slow. Uh, it's not uh, even a similar like you do with uh, gold plated pins. It's much faster. Uh, because the silver it's very very slow down process okay so this is already amount of saturated acid and here in jar two because in the past two week i change i decant solution when it's saturated and i add a new solution new hydrochloric acid so in these jars i had i had some silver sediment see that when I decant, I always stare and decant solution, so after some time everything is dropped to bottom. See that? This is silver. Little silver particles in these jars. Let's see the third one. Yeah, see that? All that is a silver. But in this main jar, I'm gonna show you right now. See that the particles is actually a much bigger, much much bigger, and uh, see that is not is not like foil. Definitely, it's look like uh, cemented silver. The same stuff like you cement silver from uh, nitric acid. So, when I stir, you see, we still have some, after two weeks, we still have some pins inside, which is untouched. I will try to zoom it. Okay, now you see very good. And uh, you see, on the top, on the top of the pin, you got some copper exposed, but it's very, very hard for solution to go through the silver and eat all that copper. But you see some of the pin, it's actually like this on top. You got some exposed copper, you see. So need so they need a lot of time it's much easier for a gold plated pin but in this case silver is uh, very hard very hard silver plated pins is very hard to dissolve so see we got all these little particles when I stare it's actually a silver and it's very heavy but not like foil it's very very similar like you cement silver from nitric acid. See that? All that pin is a. Uh, see? All that exposed copper and little white silver foils on it. So I think right now I will change solution and. Uh, I think more one week will be enough for all that pins which is left. Very very nice silver. I expect much more but not bad. So right now I will decant this amount of acid of solution and I add half a liter a new acid okay okay so I decant this uh, saturated solution in the new jar and uh, right now I had a f I have a four jar with a saturated solution and it's all saturated because uh, this is a weaker hydrochloric acid only 80 20 percent if this stuff 
uh, is a 35% like normal acid, hypochloric acid. Uh, probably in that case, uh, they will need uh, one, one, maybe uh, one and a half liter less than now. But for now, I use uh, weaker hypochloric acid, so I need almost a double to end uh, this process, okay? So, this is waste solution, 4 liter, this is liter jar, and I left, I left uh, this amount of solution, like a switch, just speed up the process. See, all that silver particles on the bottom, it's a heavy particles. If this is a gold plated pin, I will be a very very satisfied, but for silver, unfortunately, it's a chip. Okay, so right now, we will add a half a liter of new acid. Okay, that will be enough. So, when I add the new acid and leave some amount of old acid, old acid, all that copper two ions from uh, from old solution will start, uh, will speed up the process, and the new acid will start automatically to dissolve the pin. Okay, still black, but. This is very good when it's black. That means that the solution contain a lot of copper two ions. Okay, see, see all that pins, which is particularly dissolved and still contain silver foil. Oh, this is the good shot. You see that? Very, very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave that outside and uh, I will back for uh, more one week and I hope that everything will be dissolved so so we can melt our silver and see which amount silver I can get from it and uh, I have for you some new videos couple of videos which I already made but I will not upload that video until uh, I'm not finished this project because I want all my videos in the series be together. See that? See all that little particles inside? This is everything silver. And what I do every day at least one, but if I can, I uh, steer that a couple of times. Just broke all that particle dissolved pins and remove silver foil from it and expose more copper to the acid because you need to do that for a silver plated pin. It's not, it's not like a gold plated pins at all. Okay guys, so see you around for a couple of days, I think about one week and uh, we will see the final product, okay? Cheers! Okay guys, so I'm sorry because this process uh, is too long and I don't want to upload a new videos before I finish that process because I want uh, all my uh, videos be, from now all my videos be together uh, this that will make uh, you too easy to find all my uh, videos which is uh, from a two part or a three part and uh, after we finish this videos with a silver plated pin and AP solution I will go with you together uh, to visit some junkyard when, where we together will find uh, and buy and take some for free some pretty pretty cool items 
and that will be just for a start because I have a plan to uh, expand my channel uh, not only uh, on gold recovery I will plan I have planned to expand that on the some uh, gold pros prospecting and uh, uh, some gold painting maybe something else I don't know we will see uh, for now I need to finish this process and upload this video about these and uh, okay so see around for a couple of days when we start to filter this solution and we melt all that silver to see final result and uh, after that we start with a new series of videos okay guys cheers <laughs>